Here's how you can create a nested listing in Elementor using Jet Engine, where you have a list of categories, and each of those categories now contains just about three items. The bonus point is that the first listing has a featured image, whereas the other listing items do not have any featured image. This was a question I was asked, and this was the template I was given. So we want a template like this, where we have the heading, then we have each of these categories, so campus and community, health, and everything. Then only the first listing item in each of the categories has a featured image. The other two listing items are just text. So how can we do it? Let's take a look. The first plugin we need is Jet Engine to create the query as well as the listing grid. Then we need a page builder to be able to display that listing. So in this case, I'm using Elementor, but you can use any page builder of your choice, like the block editor, Elementor, Bricks, or whatever one is supported by Jet Engine. So first, I'll create the query for the taxonomy term. Because as you can see from the example, first we need to query all of the terms. Then within that term query, we now query the posts. So I'll go over to the query builder, which is under Jet Engine, then Query Builder. Then I'll create a new query, and I'll call that the parent term query. That is going to be a terms query. You can add the cache if you want and other things. The main thing we need here is what is the taxonomy? In this case, I'm using the default post. So the taxonomy will be the categories. But in your case, it might be a custom taxonomy or whatever. Then you can choose how do you want to order it by. You can order by name or any other way you want to order by. I'm just going to leave it at the default. So I'll say maybe term order. And then order from highest to lowest. Okay. Then in this case, I want to hide empty because I don't really need to show empty terms. I want to show only the terms that have posts. Then you can also choose other options here. We don't need much of those again. The only thing I might want to do, which you don't need to do just for this example is I have the uncategorized listing. I don't want that to show up. So I'll come under the include exclude and I'll go under exclude and I'll say I want to exclude the ID, which is one for my uncategorized category. Then I'll add that query. So that's the first query for the terms. Then the nested query, we have to create another one. So I'll go back to the query builder and I'll choose a new query. This time I'll call it nested posts query and the query type will be posts. You can give it a description so that you don't forget what it's about. Then the post type will be posts. The post status will be published. You can now do the order by. How do you want to order it by? So let me say I want to order by date. So order by date and from the highest to lowest. Then the key bit here is taxonomy query. So I'll come under taxonomy query, add a new query, because now we want to show only the posts that are related to the term that is being queried. So I'll come under the taxonomy and I'll choose the same taxonomy again, which is the categories. The field will be the term ID. Then the terms, choose the dynamic stack and simply search for queried terms. So that's basically going to say that the current queried term that we are in now, I want to now compare them with the term of the post that I have. So let's now do the comparator should be and. So it should one to one query. Okay. Then the other thing I might want to do is from the example, we only want to show three posts per time within each taxonomy term. So I'll come to the query builder under pagination. I'll say I want the post per page to be three. And that's it. So I'll add the query. So we've created our two queries. 
Now I can start creating the listing grid. So I'll go to my listing, which is under the jet engine listing or components. You can also see it down there. So jet engine listing components. Then I'll create my first listing item. It's going to be from the query builder and I'll select the source, which is the parent term query. The listing name will be the same name. So parent term listing and the listing view. Like I said, you can use any page builder of your choice. So either Elementor, you can use Timber, you can use the block editor. If you have bricks, you can use bricks as well. So I'll create using Elementor, create new listing. Okay. So now that I'm in the parent term listing, the two things I need here are the title for the term, so that the name of the term, as well as another listing grid for the posts. So I'll add a heading widget. Then I'll choose the dynamic tag and I'll choose term field. The taxonomy name will be categories. The field will be my term name. And that pulls in the term. Then the next thing we need to pull in is the listing grid. So I'll say listing. So this time we don't have a listing already, but we can create a listing right from this screen. So first, let me go ahead and add all of the other settings. So I want the number of columns to be one because I want that to be one column, but then the three items stack one on top of the other. Okay. Let me publish it and go ahead and create the new nested listing. For this, it's going to be my query builder. Then the source will be the nested post query. And I'll give it the same name, nested posts listing, create listing item, save and leave. Okay, so you can see we're already having the three items, but I don't want to use sections and columns. So I'll delete that. And I'll start from scratch. So I'll add maybe an image widget or I can use the dynamic image widget since I'm using Jet Engine. Make sure the container is set to full width. Okay, so we have our image. Next thing I want to do is add a heading. So we have our heading. Let me put the dynamic tag. If you had Elementor Pro, you'll be able to see the post and just choose the post title. But since I'm using Elementor Free, thankfully Jet Engine gives you some extra dynamic tags. So I'll look for one that says current object field. And then I'll choose my post title. So now that gets me my post title. Then the other thing I want to do is to change the HTML tag. In this case, because there is no like excerpt, I'll just change it to a paragraph tag. If I had like an excerpt in the post, then this would be a heading and I have to go with the heading level and all of that. But I'll just choose the paragraph tag today. Then the link, I'll choose the dynamic tag again. I'm just going to cheat and use dynamic shortcodes, but you can use the Jet Engine's version. And I want to just get the post perma link. And that's it. So let me now give it some style, change the typography style to text and save it. And we have our basic listing. You can also go to the settings. If you want the entire card to be clickable, Jet Engine has this nice feature where under listing settings, you can make the entire card clickable. It uses JavaScript to make it clickable. So you can do that if you want. Then the final task that we need to do is let me go ahead and just save it first and maybe create a new page so that we can see it like that. So I'll create a new page and I'll call it maybe test listing, publish it and let's go ahead and edit it with Elementor. Okay. So now that we're in the page, let's go ahead and try to recreate this page a little bit. So I'll start with the heading. That's the heading. 
and that's just called all news. I'll style it quickly. This is one advantage of having global styles. You can easily manage all of your styles in one place. And then when you edit it later, you can edit it from one place and it changes everywhere. So we have the heading. Then the next thing we may want to add is the listing grid. So listing. And now I'll choose the parent listing. So parent term listing. And as you can see, we're pulling the data correctly. We're pulling the music, sports, economy. Now that we've had it, you can see we are pulling just three posts per each category. So it's working. Let's go ahead and publish it. Then we can go ahead and add some extra styles when we want. So let me just go and add some little bit of styling. This first yellow icon is for the parent listing. The second yellow icon is for the nested listing. So let me go to the parent listing and I'll make sure that my container is set to full width. For your listing items, usually the container is set to full width only for your sections and columns and all of that. Then let me change the heading tag to maybe a H3 because this is the H2, so this will be the H3 style. I'll use another global style and say maybe the L, K. And basically that's it for the design. The last problem we'll tackle is to only show the featured image on the first listing item. For that, we need to use some dynamic visibility, which also comes with Jet Engine. So let's take a look. First, we'll head over to Jet Engine. Then make sure you have dynamic visibility toggled on. Once you have that, you can come back to our listing. I'll go ahead and go back. Then edit the nested listing. I'll select the image, go under the advanced tab, and you see the accordion for dynamic visibility. I'll say enable, and I want to show element if this condition is met. So let's decide the condition. The condition is that the listing n item is equal to one. So that is the first n item. And that's it. Nothing much. So I can now publish this. And let's go ahead and preview on the front end. And there we go. We have our image. We have our text that is connected to the image. Then we have our other listings. That is basically how we can create it. You may want to now add some fallback image if you so wish. And then do some styling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up then you can share the video with your friends if you have any suggestions or any comments let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one bye